Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm doing a collaboration with three other channels. And uh, what we're doing is a collaboration over one of our favorite or our favorite animals to raise on our homestead. And uh, I'm doing a, uh, the collaborations with, um, the donkey's over there looking at me. The, collabor the collaboration is with uh, Daniel from Arms Family Homestead, Al from Lumna Acres, and Austin from Homesteading. And I'll put their links and stuff all around through here somewhere. You guys will find them. Uh, you can go check them out in a little bit after you watch this video. But today, here's some hair sheep I got by, back behind me. And I was good, I'm over at my friend's house, and I was going to film uh, my sheep today, but he called me. He just got out of surgery, and he asked me if I could come over and check on his sheep because he has a Mama U around here. It just had a set of uh, triplets, and that's pretty rare for uh, a dorper sheep like we got back behind here but i'll go into that later um, real quick i'm going to talk to you guys um, i'm gonna give you five reasons why i love raising sheep and it's my favorite thing to raise on the homestead so we'll get started i wrote a list down because i'll start rambling on going crazy and get off track on rabbit trolls and stuff uh, if i don't write a, a list so um, i wrote my list down and let's see here the number five reason why i love why raising sheep is my favorite is be, is because if you have pasture land right here he's got he's my friends fenced off an acre lot like i did but he's got like 40 or 50 acres out here um if you have your own land and you're gonna you're gonna have land if you have sheep more likely you're not gonna keep them pinned up unless they're like show sheep so if you have your own land and you're raising sheep uh the the, the feed is going to be very low cost to feed these animals. Um, the door, let me get them in the background so you guys can see you're just not staring at my ugly mug. Uh, but the, the cost to feed them is going to be very low. So uh, whenever you have low cost of feed, um, you're going to have higher profits uh, when it comes to selling these uh, animals. So that's one of my, that's the number five reason why I love raising sheep because I can feed them for little to no cost because you do not have to grain uh, the Dorper sheep, um, it's not necessary. Only time I ever, uh, mainly the only time I ever uh, grain mine is if I'm bucket training them to go places for me or if they just had babies. Okay, the number four reason why I love raising sheep is because there is a huge meat market for them. Um, the market for uh, hair sheep, Dorper sheep, like I got back behind here, is uh, really, really good in Oklahoma. So if you have uh, a flock of sheep, you're gonna have no problem uh, selling the sheep and making a profit for your homestead. So that's the number four reason why I love raising these animals. And the number three reason why I love raising these uh, animals is because you can raise up to six to 10 sheep per acre now if you got a lot of woods on that acre obviously uh, you're not gonna be able to get as many but if you have really good grass like i do i can raise 10 sheep on one acre on my place no problem it pretty much self-sustains itself um so so it, um, it's very good um it's a very good animal for me to raise like i said you can have six to ten uh, and uh, i'm not sure about goats arms family will talk about his goats and uh, I'm, sh I'm sure he'll go over how many you can have per acre or whatnot. I'm not sure. If not, you can ask him a question. But I know for sheep, 6 to 10 is ideal. Um, and that, that is really good because cows, I think you have to have 2 to 3 acres per cow to self-sustain itself. I'm not, don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure I don't have cows. Uh, but I think that's it. Uh, you can have a lot more uh, livestock per acre with these. The number two reason I love sheep is because they are very low maintenance now when i say low maintenance i mean low maintenance trust me if they weren't low maintenance i probably wouldn't have them because i'm not one to go out there and just try to do everything by myself now with the, the flock of sheep i have i only have two right now i've had up to 22 or something like that before and i'm going to build my flock back up but uh the two is really low maintenance obviously but my buddy has i think he has 10 not counting the babies running around around here and uh 10 is very manageable for one person and and when I say low maintenance, you can see back here, they have hair. They don't have wool. Wool you have to shear uh, during the spring and summer, I'm guessing. But the hair sheep, they will rub all their, their hair off in late spring, early summer. So you don't have to worry about going out there and shearing them. And also their hooves. Uh, if you guys had goats before, uh, certain goats, uh, donkeys, whatnot, anything, uh, horses, um, their hooves will grow. And you have to trim those hooves. But with Dorper sheep, it's it's very slim to none that you will need to, to uh, actually trim those hooves. Obviously, you got to check them, and, and, and your area depends. Like I got some rock uh, in my field that the goats will claw on, so it keeps it keeps them down. 
uh, keeps them down a level where you don't have to you don't have to clip them you don't have to shave them all that stuff so uh, low maintenance and the parasites they're very parasite resistant um, I do worm my my sheep uh, probably like twice a year uh, in the spring and then in the fall usually and now I'll, I'll check them throughout the, the summer and stuff and I see if I see parasites in them or they start to get signs of it I will worm them again but they for the most part they are uh, very parasite resistant so that's a, another plus um, let's see here and the number one reason why I love raising sheep is because there is a big profit for them. Uh, that's the whole reason why I started raising sheep. Uh, not only for the meat, because I, we love lamb, but the main reason was because I wanted to make a profit. I wanted to make money off my homestead. And sheep are the perfect animal where you can see a quick return. And when I say profit, it's a pretty good profit because each sheep on average we'll have one and a half sheep overall uh, i know one and a half is not possible but when you average your flock they'll average one and a half and with dorpers they just don't have one or two cycles throughout the year they come and cycle regularly so they could they could uh, breed regularly if they miss if they miss one and you can have three lambings in the two year period and that's pretty good unlike cows and other things I'm not sure about goats. Uh, Daniel will have to answer that for you guys. But I can have up to three uh, lambings out of my sheep in two years. So that's that's the number one reason why I love raising these awesome animals. You can see them back here behind me. Look at that. Now, he, these are Dorper Cross just like I have. Um, these are about 75% Dorper uh, with a little bit of Katahdin in them. I might be saying that word wrong, uh, that, that type uh, of sheep wrong. But um, that's, he has the same ones. I'm the one that turned him on to sheep, and he absolutely loves them. Uh, like I said, I'm going to go over here and check on these triplets. I'll try to find them for you guys. I'll try to film them for you guys. I won't mess with them a whole lot. I just want to show them to you guys. Um, that's why I came over here, and I thought, well, I was going to film my sheep today. I might as well film over here. You can see back here. Oh, uh, Daniel from Orange Family Homestead is doing his goats. He, he's the goat guy on YouTube, if you guys don't know. Or he, he self-proclaimed goat, uh, goat guy. No, I always, always tease him, call him the goat guy. Okay, now Al is doing, uh, he, he raises pigs. And he is going to do, be doing um, his series on pigs. And, and he raises them on open fields and stuff. So that's going to be really cool. Go check him out if you guys get a chance. And Austin from Homestead, I don't know if you, I'm pretty sure you guys, most of you guys are familiar with him. Um, we don't talk a whole lot about um homesteady on on our channel we just i always watch him but we just never had an interaction uh with them before and this is this is this is pretty awesome that we're able to get all four of us together on the same page the same time to be able to do these videos i thought it was pretty neat um that we all all do that so but austin him and his wife have a milk i think it's a jersey i think it's like a mini jersey um i really enjoy watching his channel but he's gonna be going over uh, the milk the milk cow so go check them out guys if you get a chance i really appreciate it and don't uh, I'm, I'm gonna steal this from uh from daniel when you guys go over there if you do go over there go tell them that hair sheep are the best tell them they are the best animals to raise on uh, on the homestead and you'll see what i'm talking about when you go watch daniel's uh, video i think he kind of said something like that about teasing me about goats so go tell all of them that that sheep are the best all right guys hope you like this video hope you guys like this collaboration with the other three uh channels i know i was really excited to get this out for you guys got the sheep back behind me um but if you guys did, hit that like button for me if you would. And if you're new to my channel, you're not subscribed yet, I just ask you, please subscribe. I think you guys, if you're watching this, it means you're into homesteading and, and sheep and goats and chickens and rabbits. Because I have all that stuff. And I don't have goats, but I have I had, uh, I have pigs and, and uh, sheep and chickens and all that stuff and bees. So I think you guys really like my channel. So subscribe to my channel if you would. And I really appreciate you guys watching. Click that little bell so you get the notifications whenever I post new content. And you guys have a nice day. Let's go find these little, little lambs. There's one baby. She had that one yesterday. Now I see uh, two ewes over here hanging out. So my first guess is they're gonna be over here. And there's two of them. He said one had a set of twins and the other one might be lambing also. That's why she's away from the rest of the flock. So we'll go check them out. You can see these are paw marks. They'll paw on the ground whenever they're about to, when they're in labor. And they're pawing quite a bit. Okay. Cause that's gross. Let's see here. She's got all three of them. Two of them are nursing. 
They are great mamas. She's not, as far as I could tell, she's not rejecting them at all. And they're pretty good size for triplets. And they're good black cats, just what uh, he's wanting. So I'm gonna leave them alone. Okay, you can see them back here. Um, as far as I could tell, all three of them are actually nursing. She's letting them all nurse, so that's a great thing. A lot of times from what I found out, triplets, usually uh, they, they'll they have problems because there are only two two nipples on the, little, on the little udder on these sheep, so they're not really made to have more than two. So Dorper sheep having three is kind of a rarity. And uh, they're all taking turns eating, and that is great. Um, my advice to him is just to keep an eye on them. As long as she's not rejecting them, she's not rejecting them at all. She's sitting there letting them nurse. That's awesome. Like I said, Dorper. And that's another number six reason, or number number one one. They are great mothers. Dorper sheep are, are great mothers. They usually always take care of their uh, their babies. Um, I know out of the last several years, I've only had to uh, bottle raise one uh, that um, that one of my uh, mama used uh, rejected. So that's that's pretty good. But I'll show you guys some more of her. You can see her back there. I'll show you guys some more of her. Just get some footage of her. And uh, I'll leave her alone. I'll keep my distance. I don't want to put too much pressure on her. She's stressed out as it is. And uh, I'll go up there and tell my friend I think everything's looking good right now. Uh, just keep an eye on The weather's going to be actually warm the next few days. So I think they're going to be okay because, like I said, they're nursing back there. All right, guys. Hope you like this video. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Like, yeah, I'll go up here and tell them. Just keep an eye on them, and uh, if, they, if she, if they see one or two of them kind of slacking off, not looking as healthy, not growing near as quick, uh, they might need to bottle feed one. But as of right now, she's letting them. They're all getting their fair share, it looks like, and uh, hopefully she'll produce enough milk for them. So that'd be my advice: is leave them on there for a few days, check on them every chance you get. Oh, there's thorns everywhere. Check on, check on them whenever they can. Don't get too close to them and uh, they might be just fine but that's the thing with with triplets guys is i know my friend one of my one friends uh, raises goats and he said several sets of triplets and sometimes they all make them sometimes they all make it and sometimes he loses all of them i mean it's just because they're premature but these these look great they're up standing around walking and eating so hopefully they do good